right, so sorry about the people that come in and leave, but I have to share my stream because I don't have anybody to do that for me. And if I don't get the stream out there, then maybe no one will watch. Um, but anyway, this route just came out very early this morning. Um, I don't know if it came out exactly at midnight because I was actually playing Train Sim World 2 at midnight. But when I checked a little after 1 o'clock this morning, it was already in the store, so I downloaded it and got a couple of videos out. And now I, uh, I want to get into this to show this. So what I may do, uh, I'm going to aim for a two-hour stream, and maybe we'll do an hour of the Rice of Dresden, and maybe we'll do an hour of Boston Sprinter. And I definitely want to do the Sandpatch Grade uh, scenario that I was doing last night because that was crazy and it was fun. So let's uh, let's get into this a little bit and see what we got. I hope everybody is having a good day, and I know that this is this is kind of spur of the moment. But uh, what is the next thing? Operate the uh, RE50 service bound for Leipzig from Dresden to Risa. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this here. Continue. Welcome to Saxony. I hope this isn't going to do the tutorial, Ami. It might, but if it does, it's okay. We can watch this. Um, if I don't get to the Boston Sprinter side of it today, I'm not too worried about it because we did show off that a little bit on Monday's stream. So, yeah, and this is kind of just a bonus stream, guys. I'm actually going to be moving my regular streams to Friday, uh, hopefully afternoon, late afternoon, early evening. And tomorrow we'll be going live with SnowRunner. We're going to be checking out the SnowRunner update, so... Anybody out there watch this that like SnowRunner, be on the lookout for that. Now we just got to let this load in. That always takes a long time. I really want to get that DLC. That, that may be the next DLC I aim for right there. All right, so I really wish I had a PS5. Okay, operate this RE50 service bound for Leipzig from Dresden to Risa. Okay, begin. Now, are we... I'm sure we're all ready to go here. I, I don't think we'll have to do anything. Speed selector off. Um. Okay, so I have not driven this train yet I actually have but I've not driven it from this end so this is going to be interesting why would they start me out auxiliary control why would they start me out like this okay let's just give it power and hope we're ready to go oh okay that's just dumb. I need to find the reverser. So just bear with me, guys. Like I say, this is this is weird. This is literally the first thing they have me do, and I have no idea how to do this. So, okay. There we go. Now that's in the red, so I I don't like that. That's not gonna move. What's it being in the red? Force selector, uh, auxiliary control. What is this? Train brake off. Released. <laughs> we may have to restart this because I, I already screwed up for selector. Speed selector. Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea how to get this train going, guys. So, you know what? We're going to have to quit. Because, <laughs> literally, they got me doing something that I don't know how to do, and they have no tutorial. This is literally the first thing in the journey. So, that's kind of weird. That kind of sucks. Usually, they start you off with uh, tutorials, but we'll go in and we'll check out some of the training stuff. Learn how to drive these trains first here because that's 
yeah, that is the first thing I've done. So let's explore and let's go into training. So let's see here. Was it the 143? Yeah. So let, let's do this training here because I have no idea how to get that train running. And if you can't get the train moving, then what good is it? So they had a new Sony showcase today. It just got over and there's some pretty good things in there. I mean, I haven't seen anything yet that's really spectacular. It's kind of sad, but Spider-Man 2, they showed off some Spider-Man 2 and guys, I am so excited about Spider-Man 2, but let's uh let's not talk about that. Let's listen to what he has to say. Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR143 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. All right, this is definitely the train we were on. I love this train, man. This is that double-decker train. That is so cool. I really like that. Now, I do kind of think that there's a train on one of the American DLCs. Maybe it's the Long Island Railroad that you can go up top, but it doesn't It doesn't look like this. And, I mean, look at that. Look at the reflections off that and stuff. Just imagine how good that would look with ray tracing. I don't know if they've done that for the PS5. I know they have updated this game for the PS5, but I don't know if they've done any ray tracing. So let's uh, let's get up in here. Oh, look at all the doors. Okay, shut that door. I'm gonna take a look around, guys, because like I said, I haven't been in this train yet, so we might as well take a look around. Close the door, because you know I like to close the doors. Look at this. This looks like an we old window air conditioning door. unit. Head to the control panel. <laughs> that looks like just an air conditioner that you'd have in, like, your apartment. That might not be... Yeah, it looks like maybe air and heat. Walk to the control panel. Nine meters. Uh, okay, so... Uh, okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Is, this is tight. To activate the control desk, the battery will need to be turned on. Use the battery switch and set it to the on position. This locomotive is powered by a pantograph that draws power from the overhead lines. Set the pantograph selector to rear. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Now, what I found with most of these trains, when you actually get into scenarios and timetables, you don't have to go through all of this. Usually they're already up and running for you, so you just kind of sit in the seat and you're ready to go. But it's very good to know how to start these things up, just in case. Okay, insert the reverser handle. Okay, that goes there. The headlights will need to be set to let others know that this locomotive is operational. Left. Headlight left, white, okay. Set the control headlight to on. There we go. Right, right headlight to white. What? I just want to know, what is the, uh, okay, there's red too. Interesting. We'll need to wait for the air system to charge. Okay, that's pretty typical. Um, another. Now activate oh. the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The only thing is, when they say, wait for that to charge, I wish, like, you could see, I don't see anything, I didn't see anything charging, so. Okay, let's raise up the pantograph. The train is ready to be energized. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. I'm going to close Take that. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. And you can kind of hear the train starting up when I, when I did that. All right. Let's open up the doors. Doesn't look 
Looks like there's too many people. That's going to get on. Maybe these guys will get on. Um, is it? Well, it must be definitely like spring or autumn, perhaps. Looks like he's wearing a jacket. That doesn't look like anybody's getting off or on. Well, that's a little it's strange. Time to get going. Set the doors to locked. All right. We'll lock these doors here. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Ten forward. The brakes will need to be released on the train before we can depart. Use the indicated lever to set the train brake to running. Okay, so that's the definite problem. Running. Okay, boy, that's touchy. Okay, so now we see the brakes releasing. The force selector determines how much tractive effort force is being supplied to the train. Okay, we want to put this all the way up to 100. There we go. The speed selector allows the driver to easily amend the speed of the locomotive as required. Once the desired speed is set, indicated by the red needle on the speedometer, the locomotive will automatically adjust to meet that speed. Oh, hey, that is nice. All right, so we want to set this to 40 kilometers per hour right there. Oh, I like that. Apply some more power. And reach a speed of 40. Well, okay, I mean, I did what he said, so... It should just go up to 40, and I'm guessing it's going to stop, so that's kind of like... A cruise control, in theory, perhaps. Not quite up to 40 yet, but it's getting there. Take a look at this from the outside. Very boring looking, uh... I don't... I don't want to say that's an engine. Maybe that is the engine. Maybe this, I'm thinking this probably supplies the power. It's probably like that. That's maybe not an engine, just a way to drive it. I don't know, though. If anybody knows, uh, yeah, I'd like to know about that. Like I say, guys, I'm an American. I've never been to Germany, so I don't know anything about these trains. I just know I like driving them. <clears throat> I like seeing these, these routes, man. I really do. This is like such an enjoyable way to spend an afternoon, I think. Also, we've got a mic there so we can make announcements to the passengers in the back. I should probably tell them that they have an American up here that does not know what he's doing, so... Uh, desk light, instrument lights... Let's see here, what is this? Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. That kind of soft green. Reminds me of like the old cars in the 80s and, and 90s when... They all had that soft green light in the dashboards. Um, 3.8 kilometers is our stop, so that, that's a pretty good distance away. Um, what are these lights? Desk light. Um, where does that come from? Hey, I like that. Okay, the lighting is actually pretty cool. So let's go backwards. Okay, so it's just on and off. Um, what is all this stuff? Is this anything? Door side selector. I always like to see things that we can play with here. Um, although I don't know what any headlight brightness. Normal. Brake release. Brake bridging. Sand. There's the horn. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what they use the horn for in Europe, but none of these trains has a very strong, strong horn, do they? So, is this the only way to control the speed of this? Auxiliary control. Force selector. This is set at 40, but we're not going 40. So that's maybe... Oh, we 
can actually go faster now anyway, so let's, uh, let's do that, shall we? Can I open this window? Oh, I can! Nice. Some of these trains you can, some of these trains you can. I mean, I kind of like having some fresh air coming in here. Now, I'm sure, are there wipers on this? Yeah, there's wipers on this. Where are the controls for the wipers? Let's, let's try to find them. Uh, wow, okay. Auxiliary drive off, auxiliary release. Gotta make sure we watch our distance here. Okay, I have no idea where the wipers would be. What is that? Smirchy brake valve closed. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea where the wipers would be. Maybe over here somewhere. Let's, let's take a look. Maybe we didn't look at all this stuff. There's this cab light off. That's the headlights. We know that. It's down here. Train line power, train lights. Nice aircraft. Traction mode fan, compressor. Okay, either I'm blind, or there is just no way to control. Oh, there's the wiper right there. Okay. Not a fan of that because it's kind of behind this brake. You are now approaching the first stop. Use the speed selector to reduce your speed. You can use the train brake to provide additional braking force. Okay, use L2 to apply brake. Let's uh, pull this back. Oh, okay, you know what? Let's... <laughs> okay. One thing I can say about these European trains, man, is that they have some really good brakes. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Woo. We did it. Um... Is this really going to make me go all the way? <laughs> Do I really have to go all the way up to there to, to stop this? That's... Okay, that's running. Lose 100. Why won't it let me... Auxiliary control. Okay. Man, I guess we had to stop this thing exactly there, which is kind of strange. That's not something that we usually have to do. Okay, that's what we had to do. That's a little strange. Let's lock the doors. It does look like there's a ton of people here, so... Oh, okay. It helps if you unlock the correct doors. So, yeah, there's not, like, a ton of people here. All right, there's more people getting off than... They were on. Now, that bicycle, does that mean people can get on here with their bicycle? And is there room for bicycles on here? I don't I don't know, that's weird. Like I say, if anybody watching this later on knows anything about that, drop that in the comments because I don't know what that means. I don't know why there's a bike thing on there. My guess would be that you can probably board this train with your bicycle. I know over in European countries, you know, riding bikes and stuff like that is a lot more 
Um, I'm, I'm more popped the way I'm getting around. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, there's the freight train, guys. Look Proceed at that. The next stop unguided this time and see how you get off. An emergency brake test will occur during the journey. Now, that, I like that. That's actually more interesting because it seems like on the American routes, the freight train, all you ever carry is coal. And I would really like to carry tankers and, uh, and more interesting stuff like that. Anyway, let's let's get back into this here. Um, wait. Oh, I already shut the doors. Okay. So I guess we just put this up to no, it's in the red because the brake is on. All right, let that pressure decompress, and we'll set this. To 60 and nope we're still in the red so okay now we should be good nope okay why are we not moving let's try releasing that and now maybe are we good no <laughs> it's still not letting us go. Why isn't it letting us go? This is... This is by far the worst about this game, man. Is that you get stuck like this, and it's just... You can't do anything. Four selectors at a hundred. Okay, let's try this. Put that in neutral. Kind of reset everything here. Put that forward. Selector up. And no. We're still in the red. Hmm. I have no idea now. I'm just... Nah. I have no idea what to do. Train break off? Nope. Oh, boy. I don't know, man. I don't know... Dovetail, why? Why do you do this? This is like a problem I have so much with this game that you just stop the car, you stop the train, and it's just nothing. You just can't... All of a sudden, you can't move now. Maybe the pantograph wasn't raised? No, we're still in the red. Uh, this train just will not move for some reason I don't I don't know why but uh yeah we're just sitting here dead in the water oh boy I I I hate having to restart I swear to God I really do it just it makes no sense I don't understand why there's only two brakes. And it absolutely will not move. Nothing I can do. Oh, wait. I don't know what I did, but... We reset it somehow. Whew! There was a save! Jeez! Alright, let's... 
Let's get this going and do the emergency stop. Maybe that'll tell me how to reset it. Maybe that's what I did. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I actually had this in emergency when I was trying to stop. Oh, I think I did. That's probably why. So, yeah, we'll figure out how to recover from an emergency fairly shortly because this is the next thing that we're going to be doing here. So anybody watching this later, I'd like to know what you think of the route. Um, let's actually... Let's actually pause this quick. This is the only thing I don't like about the update. Let's go into controls and let's put this on free. Let's take that off and I just like that, you know? I like seeing that. See the trains go by. Such small trains, man. Alright. So it definitely looks like it's autumn. I didn't actually check the date. But it's definitely autumn, you can see the leaves are just starting to uh, get that little bit of color on them, which that's going to be coming up very shortly here. It's already September, guys. That's crazy. The summer is almost over. I know we still have quite a bit of warm weather left. Last year, man, it was warm right up until probably the end of October. I want to say even possibly early November, it was it was pretty warm here. But yeah, I actually just love seeing the different scenery and the cities and, and stuff like that on these courses. Oh man, I can definitely bump this up. So is that 120? Yeah. Alright. Man, these trains are fast, no doubt. Like I said, there goes another train. Uh, that was pretty cool. That would have been a cool screenshot. But again, they changed that. So now you have to put it on the uh, the classic controls for the screenshot. And I don't like... No. Yeah, yeah, the classic controls. And I don't like the classic controls. I don't like the whole menu system to get the doors open and stuff like that. I just... I don't like it one bit. Now, fortunately, if you want to take a screenshot, that's what you have to do and... I don't really want to keep going into the menus here on the live stream. We want to just take a look around. Although, I may change the outside camera back to the other one so we can take a look at outside, see what it looks like. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll do that. But yeah, this is probably the only thing that I'm not crazy about that they, they changed with the game. I don't think they uh, they made that better, but maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you enjoy it more. I don't know. Now, with this here, man, I mean, it's like... Country is country. We'll now test the emergency brake and go over the critical steps needed to right. recover the train. Here we go. To begin, set the train brake to emergency and then wait for the train to come to a complete stop. All right. So now, he didn't say take the throttle off. He just said put that emergency. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just do what he said, and this train is stopping pretty quick when you put it in emergency. That's for sure. Not a lot of weight on these trains, though, I would imagine. Next, you will need to set the speed selector to off. All right. So, yeah, we, we did that correct. The brakes are still applied and will need to be released. 
move the train brake to running. Wait for the brakes to release. So I'm guessing that's that middle gauge, the, the red one, the AC. Set the main circuit breaker to close. Okay. Finally, set the speed selector to the indicated speed to get the train moving again. Alright, so it's 120. That's literally... Nice work. We can now continue the journey. Full power. Alright, and away we go. So, that circuit... The main circuit breaker. I bet you that's what it was last time. So I'm gonna have to remember that. If we ever do an emergency stop again, I have to reset the main circuit breaker that that shuts off. Okay. So now that is a thing that we know. <laughs> so after this, guys, uh, we should be good to go to that scenario or timetable. I'm not sure what it was. We have 4.2 kilometers left to go here. Now, like I say, I I, I would kind of like to get in a little bit of the Boston route in here, but if not, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, once we get around that hour mark, we'll, uh, we'll judge it. We'll see where we're at. FML. <laughs> that says FML. Uh, yeah. You think it says FML because it knows that I'm driving the train? Hmm. It's kind of rude, but it could be. Let's take a look at outside here. And again, like I say, this this literally could be anywhere. This could easily be America. I think it's when you get to the cities is where you really see the differences between like Europe and uh, in America and stuff like that but yeah I mean this this could easily be New York man you got the trees some of the fall colors and everything so I kind of like this because we know we're not going to go any faster so we could kind of shut that off for a little bit here not for too long, because I don't want to overshoot my stop here like we almost did last time. But as I said, the brakes are really good on these, so that's not that big of a deal. And, you know, one thing that I've learned with playing this game, I think I just like trains, man. Like, it doesn't really matter. Yes, I do enjoy the freight trains. I do think the freight trains are probably a little more challenging but I just like driving trains, man. I just think it's it's really cool. And I mean, you can see that we're not 100% full. So I don't think we're getting the full rush hour effect, but there's definitely people in there. Oh, God. I did it again. <laughs> Woo, okay. Oh god. Oh god. Yep, yep. That's That is why the train said FML. Okay. That's why the train said FML, man. It knew. It knew. It, it knew I was driving. It knew I was behind the uh well, not the wheel, but <laughs> it knew I was in the engine here, so we had to do another emergency stop, so I guess we'll put our training to work here. <laughs> Put that in running. Got to let that pressure break. And we're going to have to back this thing up. Man, see, paying attention. I don't know. Put that back on close. <laughs> oh, boy. Put that in reverse and...
All right, we definitely did it right. Definitely did it right. So let's uh, let's do this here. And let's back the train up. Good thing that doesn't let you fail the mission because, man, we would be failing these missions all over the place. Alright. So we have quite a ways to go. Start slowing it down. Whew. There we go. <laughs> we kind of salvaged it. Man, these people are going to be like, get me off this train. This dude is crazy. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating good work. this train. <laughs> it wasn't good work, dude. Don't lie. Oh, man. But honestly, though, that's probably the most consistent we've been with the speed limit because of the way this train is. So we got gold. Nothing wrong with that. I will take the gold. All right, 50 Dresden. Okay, so that's the one we were at. Let's let's do this one. Let's try to do this one again. Seeing as we know how to drive this damn train now. So to anybody new to the channel, uh, this is pretty much what we do. We try to have chill chill streams, and uh, we have a lot of content. We do a lot of content. We do SnowRunner, Train Sim World 2. We do racing like F1 2020, although we haven't been doing that too much. Um, uh, Hunter Call of the Wild... You know, we like to just have fun, hang out. So, if anybody out there watching, if you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. Likes are always appreciated. And, hey, RJ Gamer Boy, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You're new and you've been subscribed? That's awesome, man. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Do you have the new route? Are you uh, are you playing the Rice of Dresden route? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't feel like I pronounce any of these right except for the American routes, unfortunately. All right, so let's uh, let's do this. Now wait a minute. <laughs> this isn't the train. This is the regular one again. Okay, so let's do that. Train break 1A. There we go. You're going to keep yourself update on the videos? Okay, man, it's cool. Locked doors. So we're in the red. Now I have to figure out how to do this one again. Which has to be complete. Train line power on. Where's... Pantograph raised. Where's the... There we go. Closed. Okay. I think we should be ready to go. Yeah, it's not in the red. So it's going to take a little while to get this going. And I think there is, like, down here... Maybe a switch that lets me do... No, maybe not. Contact signaler. Okay, we are not moving. So we're... Oh, man. Okay. I thought I put that in forward, but I guess I didn't, so...
Okay, here we go. We're moving. We are moving. So, we have train brakes. Direct brake release. Zeros. Okay, what train is this again? All right. And what is this over here? This is the AFB. So let's set this to about 45. Hmm. Wait a minute. Do I have to like turn that on some somehow? I was just watching a live stream and someone was actually going over this. And I thought there was a button like under the dashboard that did that. But maybe not. Let's see. What are these buttons? That's not it. What is this? That's that the panograph air compressor. Door slide. Train lights. Sand. Brake release. Main instrument lights. Cab lights. Okay, so we're just going to have to... Not worry about that, I guess, because that's not working. There's, I'm pretty sure there's something you have to turn on for that to work. I'm not sure what. Okay, let's slow this down just a little bit. Slow it down a little bit more here. Okay, she's coming down. There we go. All right, now we lost all viewers. <laughs> That's all right. I know this is a spur of the moment thing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best to uh, build a little bit of community here, get people watching the streams. But yeah, so, what game is this on? Um. You want to know, like, what console I'm on? I'm playing on PS4, man. This is PS4. And there we go again. Paying attention is a thing. And I'm not good at. Just is complete though, so you know what? We're gonna open the doors. We'll say screw it. <clears throat> Alright man, awesome. You play on PS4 too? Cool. Did you get the season ticket for the game? Do you have the game? I might want to go in the train. Alright, it looks it looks busy. It looks like people were probably getting on. Okay, man, you don't have the game? Oh, uh, what's sad, man? Okay, we lock those. Let's, uh... Those running. Let the air release. And I kind of want to find how to turn that on. Contact signaler. Brightness. Is it in here? Uh, I'm thinking it could be here. I don't know what these buttons do. There's that button there. I think that's the only one that's going to do anything. 
Contrast brightness. Yeah, it's hmm, what is Maybe I have to set this when we're stopped? No, it's literally not doing anything because you're supposed to have that blue. Got yeah, a blue thing coming up. Oh. Yeah, I am too, man. I really love simulator games. They're super fun and... You know, they're really starting to come out with a lot of simulators for console now, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm not seeing anywhere where I can turn that on. Huh. All right, so we're just going to continue on without it, I guess. Yes, I would really like to use that because it makes life a little bit easier. What is that over there? Is there anything? No, that's just emergency brake, right? What is this? Okay, that's not it. I'm pretty sure what I'm looking for is like APB or something like that, or AFB? AFB. Yeah, I have no idea how this works, though. I thought there was like a button. Door slide. Okay, let's get up to speed and I gotta pay attention here. I gotta pay attention because I don't wanna overshoot it again. I know I keep saying that and I keep doing exactly what I say I don't wanna do, but that's kinda how it is. But yeah, man, they just released the, uh, the new bus simulator game. I'm probably gonna be getting that sometime. So, definitely want to stay tuned to the channel, because when I get to that game, I'll definitely be adding that. As of right now, I hear that it's not in the best state. So, I kind of don't want to... I don't want to get it until they get... Like, the bugs worked out. Oh, I play SnowRunner and The Hunter Call of the Wild, and we do F1 2020, uh, F1 2021, Assetto Corsa Competizione, um, a little bit of Farming Simulator. I used to do a lot more Farming Simulator. When Farming Simulator 22 comes out, I'll be doing that probably quite a bit. And pretty much like any sim titles I could find, you know. Like I say, Bus Simulator, I'm going to be putting Bus Simulator... When I get that, I had some bus sim content on the channel. But yeah, just pretty much any kind of simulators I could get on console is what I like to put on the channel. We're doing a lot better this time than we did last time. Let's get this thing stopped. There we go. Unlock the doors. Not a ton of people. Not a ton, but... So this is the Dresden station. I like this station, man. I like, I like the way they look in Germany. They look pretty cool. Hey man, thank you. I appreciate it. All the support is very much appreciated on this channel. And you just started one. Awesome, man. That's awesome. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's close up these doors. That actually went smoothly. I wonder what. Hey, there's the there's the ice train, man. Okay, so, yeah, this is, okay, I wonder if we can actually, probably not, this probably won't be in any scenarios, but that's pretty cool. Alright, let's release the brake. Let 
let that pressure decompress. And now I didn't put this in emergency, so why is that in red? Okay. Because I didn't have it off. And here we go. Well, dude, you just started your channel. It takes a long time. Like, don't, don't get discouraged if you're not seeing your subs go up a lot in the beginning. I mean, literally, I've been doing this for three years, and I just hit a thousand subs last last week. Yeah, so it's a lot of work. You just got to keep at it. Um, you know. You're going to get discouraged because you just don't see the results that you kind of want to. But once you get there, man, you, you'll start getting there and the subs will start adding up. And, uh, yeah, you'll see that it, it's worth it. Like I say, it's just it's a lot of work, but you just got to keep at it and just try not to get discouraged. You'll get there, man. It just takes time. You have to literally <laughs> share your stuff everywhere. Try to join a bunch of Facebook groups that allow it. Um, try to join discords that allow it. Like I say, it, it's it's a lot of work. It's more than just recording the video and uploading it. It's a lot of uh, kind of like self-promotion. <laughs> Is what I'd is what I'd say. And by the way, guys, if you're watching, feel free to join my Discord. Um, I don't think Nightbot is actually connected right now. Otherwise, that would be putting links up there. I can actually. Try to see if it is. Let's go. Let's do this. No. Nightbot has left the building. <laughs> but so far, man, I'm enjoying this route. And, like, see, you still get those little bit of stutters that I'm not crazy about. But I... I guess they just can't fix it. I guess they just can't figure out how to get those out of the game. Sadly. Ah, you just came from school and you're in fifth grade. Oh, well, you know what, man? You're in fifth grade. Like, I wouldn't even worry about it. You have a lot of time. You have a lot of time to get your YouTube up and running, you know? I know some people that are in school that have YouTube channels and man, it's tough. It's tough because you're going to school and you know, you can't really upload probably as much as you want. So it's definitely, it's definitely difficult. Like I say, stick with it, make good content and you'll get to subs, man. You'll get there. Let's take a look here outside. I love the graffiti, man. I love the graffiti on the walls. That's just... It's just one of those things that they added. Okay, let's... Man, that went from... One mile to under so fast. I've, I've been playing the sand patch grade, and it takes so long... To slow those big freight trains down when you got like seven tons of coal on the back. And then I go into this... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Still came in way too hot. God, that creep... Oh, man, that just creeps up so fast. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Gonna have to back it up. Maybe not. If it tells me... Okay, it tells me I'm good, so you know what? I'm, I'm staying with it. Okay, I really need to figure out... 
the brakes on this train. I need to start slowing this down a lot sooner than I think because, man, when you're going this fast, those stops just come up on you wicked quick. You know, when you're only going about 30 in a freight train, it takes quite a while to go a mile. But when you're going like a 120, it, uh, it sneaks up on you, man. It really does. And again, I cannot find the AFB thing on here at all. Like, there's the AFB there. Lock doors. But yeah, for the life of me, man, I cannot find... I know there's a switch to turn that on. What is this? Electric brake. Train brake. do that did I shut this completely off yes I did so let's go cool. see if I if I turn this up there's supposed to be like a, a blue gauge on my speedometer but there's nothing there's got to be some way to engage us let me I'm just gonna mess around guys cuz I'm new at this so do I have to do this when it's in neutral no I don't do it when it's in neutral um, I like I said I definitely think that there's a switch, and I was almost positive that it was one of these. Contact signaler. So did they just forget to put that on the console version, or what? Because uh, shunting control. Z release. What is this over here? Passenger doors. Yeah, I definitely don't see anything to turn the AFB on, so. Oh, well, I, I tried. I'm not going to spend a ton of time looking at that, but I guess it just is what it is. So let's let's get this train rolling. We have 7.4 kilometers to go. That's That's quite the distance. I think I'm going to change this. See the other one so we can see these drive by a little bit because I do like that view. Free. There we go. Uh, for editing your... So are you creating on PS4? Because if you're creating on PS4, man... The Share Factory, that's that's what I use. That's the best tool you can use on on PS4 is the Share Factory. For thumbnails, I use two free apps that are on the phone. They're both um, Adobe Photoshop free apps. But other than that, yeah, all of the editing, all, all, like literally everything you need is right in the Share Factory. With the PS4. Alright. We don't want to speed. Alright, let's... I can't I can't do that all right we need to slow us down again so wait a minute what what is your content on your channel are you doing content are you doing games on PS4 or are you doing phone games? Because I don't know anything about phone games, man. I can't I can't help you there, but if you're doing games on PS4, then you want to use the Share Factory. But on, on phone, I have no idea, dude. I have no idea how to do that on phone. Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't help you there, man. I don't. I don't do phone games. All 
I think probably you can you could probably do a, a mirror cast on your PC and then use recording software off the PC to do it and you can edit it that way that's like literally the only way I would know how to do it other than that man I don't know I don't know if there's anything you could get through the phone to help with that Nintendo that's that's tricky Doing Nintendo stuff is tricky. There's not a lot of Nintendo content on YouTube, actually. I'm not really sure why that is. I thought for some reason Nintendo wasn't too cool about people uh, sharing their games or something. I don't know. I forget what it was. But I know that a lot of people... Don't do it. You don't see a lot of Nintendo stuff. Hit that sad little horn. <laughs> Our reward earned. Drive 14 points. Okay, cool. I do like the reflections on this train. That looks really good. Oop, speed limit. Oh god, and we're there already. Like I say, these trains, they slow down pretty quick. There's not a lot of weight on them, thankfully. So, it seems like we're we're coming in kind of fast. If we were in a freight train going this fast, I would agree that it's too much. Let's do full service. And that was perfect. I actually like that view, but I don't know. We're not going to see anybody, but let's open the doors. Hey, you guys are awesome, man. Like, I'm I'm seeing four people watching. I got four likes. I appreciate that so much, guys. You don't even know. I really do. So let's get these people off this train. I keep wanting to say bus, man. This looks so much like a double-decker bus to me. I just, I don't, man, I don't know. I can't, I can't say enough how much I like this double-decker train. This is so cool. Okay. Lock the doors. Set this back to running. There we go. Let that decompress. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I am not going anywhere. We will be doing this for years to come on this channel. As long as people keep watching... I will keep doing my thing. The sounds of this train kind of tri tripped me out, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much longer this route is. Oh, wow. This is this is a long route. Um, okay, so what I may do, I may finish this route and then head over to the Boston Sprinter and do something over there. Because I really want to... Get some stuff on, on that route as well. I haven't really played that route a lot. Unfortunately, what happened was the rush hour came out, and by the time I got it, it was really close to the release of this route. So I didn't get a lot of time playing Boston Sprinter. 
But this is a good... A good game to, to live stream. And again, guys, tomorrow we will be doing... We have a red light. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We need to slow this thing down a lot, because... If I go past that red light, that's it. I, I failed this scenario. And I don't want to do that. But yeah, tomorrow, we're going to be doing a uh, SnowRunner live stream. That's probably going to be a pretty long live stream. We're going to be taking a look at the Phase 5 update. I haven't even played it yet. Oh, I need to slow down a lot. I have not even played it yet. Okay, why is... This sucks because I have to get closer to this red light, which I don't really want to get that close to it, but like I say, I'm just going to creep up to it because I don't want to fail this and have to start over again. I've done a pretty good job at salvaging my screw ups, but going through a red signal. That is unsalvageable. You cannot do anything about that at all. What is this signal anyway? God, why does it have to be so far away? Go a little faster, I guess. Can I go through it? Nope, denied. <laughs> I thought as much. We have a little bit of a uphill grade. At least I think that's what that is supposed to mean. I don't know if that's something they fixed. I know in the past um, the grades have kind of been backwards, but it kind of feels like we're going uphill. So let's see here. Royal games? I don't... I don't know what Royal Games are, man. I don't know what that means. I basically just do Sim Games. I think we're good. Yeah. So now we just have to wait for this red light to change. This is always fun. Man, I'm glad I caught that because I would have just blew right past this and failed this whole thing. So either there's a train up ahead coming this way, although I don't think so. Most likely there's a train on the tracks that we caught up to. Okay, so we're good to go. That turned red, so... Awesome. This is a pretty long route, guys, actually. Yeah, alright, man. We'll be here. No worries. Do what you gotta do, buddy. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty long route, so I don't know... I mean, it's already 6.30. I've been streaming... For I'm not really sure. Maybe just under an hour. Oh, we've actually been streaming for just a little over an hour. So there's another there's another red light. Oh wait a minute. Our stop is coming up. Break! We need to 
to put brakes on. Man. That's what always happens. Okay. Okay, why does that keep happening? <laughs> we keep stopping. My fault. I don't know why this electric brake <clears throat> doesn't release when I release that one. That's on release. Should that be on, on run as well? I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to carry on. We're starting to slow down. Need to slow down more. <laughs> I just gotta get used to these brakes. I, I feel like that's the whole key with this game, no matter what train you're running. You just gotta get used to the brakes. And there we go again now. See, with these trains, man, it's like once you get down... Past 10 miles an hour, it just stops. It's like... The brakes are really good at that point. Alright. That's good. That's what I like to see right there. Looks like there's quite a bit of people waiting. Yeah. People getting off, people getting on. That is what I like to see. I really have to check the other routes in the game, the other DLCs that I have. I don't think they made a change to all those. For some reason, I think they have to update each DLC individually. Which is kind of odd to me because it, it seems like this is something that affects the base game. So they could have just updated it for all the DLC, but it seems like they had to do it like one by one. Objective complete. All right, let's put that in running. Did I not shut this off again? I didn't. I really got to remember to shut that off. 1.8 kilometers, so that's that's not very far away. Sifa, I don't know what this, that Sifa is. So much I don't know about these trains, man. That I wish they had a really comprehensive kind of. Sean Cameron, hey man, welcome to the stream. I am doing awesome, buddy. How are you doing today? Do you play Train Sim World 2? Cut back a little bit. We don't want to go too fast because this 1.3k is going to sneak up on us really quick. Really quick. I do love this countryside, man. This looks... Yep, see? Turn the throttle off. Try the brake at 1A. It doesn't see at 1A. It's starting to slow down. I want to slow down more than that though. Yeah, we need to slow down a lot more. Let's put this up to 3. Alright man, so here's the question. Do you have the season ticket? And if so, how are you liking the new routes? Are you enjoying the uh, the rush hour content?
I do know that there's some people that weren't too excited about getting another German route, but I'm okay with it, man. I just, I don't know. I just like the game, you know? I like trains. I like the whole thing. And actually, does it... I mean, it looks like we could have probably came up a little... No, no. We're all on the platform. We're all on the platform. Nice. I like coming out to this view. I like seeing the people get on the train and people get off the train. All right. So, is this clock correct? 9.50... Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. Lock the doors. Put those on running. All right. Nine kilometers away. Yeah, I, uh, hmm. Okay, we're not moving. Ooh. Why aren't we moving here? I didn't put this running. Release. Why are we not moving? There we go. Gee. I didn't put that in emergency, so I don't know why that, that circuit closed or opened on me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know what? No, wait. This isn't... Oh, man. What is going on with this game? Like, I didn't do anything. I don't understand. All right. I think it's because the AC wasn't released all the way. So let's get that released. All right, maybe that was the issue, because we're moving now. But uh, you know what, man? The uh, the DLC for this game is pretty expensive. I will say that. I was uh, I was looking at all the DLC yesterday. And not counting the, the cost of the game, if you bought every map and every train DLC for this game, it would cost over a thousand dollars. And that's uh, like that's crazy to think about, you know. Like I I knew that they were expensive, but just the thought of that, like a thousand dollars to spend over on a game, and that's over a thousand dollars, by the way. That's crazy. Take a look at it going by. Oh, that is awesome. That couldn't have worked out better, that bus going by. Nice. But it is an enjoyable game. It's a really chill game. And the, uh, the CSX trains, man, I, I love the freight stuff. I really do. Although I enjoy all the routes, the freight stuff is probably my favorite just because... I don't know, man. Probably because I'm American. We have a lot of freight in America. And, uh... I don't know, man. Just growing up, when I had model trains, it was always freight trains. That was always the big interest. Like, I never had passenger trains in my model railroads. It was always freight trains. And I cannot begin to express how much I want the Santa Fe engine in this game. That would just make me so happy to see that. I did enjoy seeing the Union Pacific. Because I have 
the Peninsula Corridor DLC, but it's just not enough. They, they didn't have it in there enough. There was only like one, I believe, freight scenario, and maybe only two freight timetables. So that was a little disappointing. But I definitely want to get the Cane Creek DLC. That one looks so good to me. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's a Union Pacific train too, so... I will work on getting those next. That's the, uh, the DLC train. I don't have that. I'm cool with the CSX trains that are in the game. They do all right. I do, however, wish they would give you more engines, you know, Two engines pulling seven tons of coal seems a little strange to me. You should have at least four engines on that, but... I actually just did the Cumberland Charge scenario last night. First time ever, and I gotta tell you, That was wild. That was wild. Especially when this game doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> And like I said, I am not an engineer. I have never driven a train. So, man, I had no idea how to use the dynamic brake or anything like that. I literally had to figure it all out while I was just barreling down the mountain. <laughs> it was super fun, though. I definitely think I want to stream that scenario. Because it is a cool one. I like it. All right, so here we are. It looks like we're... Back in farmlands. I love how in these areas it just, it's like city, country, city, country, you know, I mean, it's like, really cool how they do that. Let's slow it down a little bit. We still got 3.4 kilometers to go. I have no idea how many miles that is. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. So it's looking like I'm probably not going to get to the Boston Sprinter route in this stream. That's okay, though. That's okay. There will be other streams. Maybe we'll do that on Monday stream, Monday night. Get back on Boston. So like I said, guys, before, in case you weren't watching, tomorrow, Friday, we are going to be doing a SnowRunner live stream. We're going to be checking out Phase 5. I have not been on SnowRunner yet today. Hopefully after this stream, I'll hop on there a little bit just to check it out. But yeah, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. We're going to aim for late afternoon, early evening, maybe 7... 8 o'clock, maybe a little earlier if we can, who knows. And that should be a longer stream. It, that may go over two hours. Okay, let's, let's start slowing it down. Take the throttle off. I need to remember that because that's, that's part of my issue, not having that throttle off. And guys, thank you so much for hitting that like button. I mean, I haven't even had to ask anyone to hit the like. You guys have just been on it. So that's... So much appreciated. You don't even know how much that helps the channel. All the interactions are just so helpful to YouTube. They just love seeing that. And it makes me happy too. Because believe it or not, I'm not doing this for myself. I, I like to have people watching. I like to have people interacting. That is one of the things I like the best about live streaming are the interactions with people. 
Especially with games that people have questions about. I am not a live streamer that is, I will never tell you in a live stream, go watch a video, go watch one of my videos. I will never say that. If I'm playing the game and you have a question about that game, I will answer that in the live stream. I will not send you to a video on my channel. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves with YouTubers when I see that. When someone asks a question about the game they're literally playing and they go, well, I made a video about it, go, go search it. It's like, why? Why are you live streaming? You're here to interact with people. All right, everybody off. Hope you all enjoyed your trip today. Trying my best not to slam on the brakes too hard. <laughs> Don't want to jostle people around, make people lose their drinks or anything like that. I'm sure to train like this, there's probably drinks, I would imagine. I mean, this looks like a pretty nice train. Objective complete. All right, now let's see. Let's see where we're at. All right, there's no red around the throttle. So... I'm hoping we're good to go. Let's give it some juice here. Oh, and we're building power. It is a thing of beauty. If I could just get that AFB working. Contrast. If I could just get that AFB working. What is this? Okay, what is... Okay, I don't... That doesn't help me, does it? Nine point eight kilometers. These are long routes. Like I said, guys, man, I don't know. I have a funny feeling this is going to take me to the end of the stream. This one route. I don't... I really don't think I've done a passenger route this long before, so... That's kind of cool. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it at all. I like it. Let's get that drive-by view there. Watch it go in. You can hear that horn getting, getting quieter as it goes flying off. So let's... Let's get back inside here. Again, I'm... I really wish I could find that AFB control. I really wish I knew how to work this. Train line power on. I don't know. Contrast, brightness. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Don't want to do that, do we? I don't know. I guess there's not one. I, I'm going to have to figure out how to work this. Oh, God, we're speeding. Look at that. That guy, he's going to pass us going. There's an idiot. There's an idiot driver doesn't know what he's doing. Can't do the speed limit. <laughs> hit the brakes. Oh, we're going down a pretty good grade. That's why. But yeah, guys, they had a, uh, a PlayStation showcase on today. And they had some pretty good things to show off, I guess. Showed off a little bit of Gran Turismo 7, which... I mean, honestly, I, I feel like they're not living up to the potential with these games because they're still releasing them for the PS4. So I think that kind of holds them back a little bit. But 
honestly, the uh, the one game they showed off that I'm super excited about, and it's like a couple years away, is Spider-Man 2. And guys, in Spider-Man 2, we're going to be getting Miles Morales, Miles Morales, Miles Morales, Peter Parker, and Venom. I am so excited to have Venom in a video game. And like at the very end of it, you heard Venom speak, and he sounded just like he did in the movie. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. They did have another Marvel game. I think it was the, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. They showed that off, and I don't know. If they do that like they did the Avengers, then I'm not going to be too excited about it. And they also did a little teaser of another Marvel game coming out. Uh, Wolverine, but that's in development, so that's probably a good two years away, if not, if not longer. But I will say, honestly, for the new consoles being out for, what, almost, almost a year now, I think in, like, maybe November, it'll be a year that they've been out, there's just nothing that's really wow. And it's so strange. It really is. There's so little hype about any games coming out for these systems. It's a little crazy. I don't know if the whole pandemic thing is the problem, but I don't know. It's pretty bleak right now. I hope it gets a lot better. I really do. But in the meantime, <laughs> games for the current gens are just, they're doing absolutely great. You know, we're getting all these updates to Train Sim World 2. We're getting all the updates to SnowRunner. Uh, we got the new bus simulator game that just came out, which I guess that's got its problems. But uh, Bus Simulator 18 definitely had its problems as well. And the one thing I say, guys, Astragon, they do a good job. They really do a good job at uh, fixing the game, so... If you have the new Bus Simulator game and you're not enjoying it, you're experiencing a lot of bugs, just hang tight. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Apparently talking and driving trains isn't my strong suit either. Wait. What? We put this in emergency and we don't have to reset it? Uh, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that all day. Ooh. Guys, we lucked out with that one. We lucked out with that one for sure. Oh, look at that. Dude, I swear, I'm like, I'm like a tourist with these games. I'm just like, oh, look at that. I can't, whoa, hey, what's this? Look at this. <laughs> All right, so we have, like, the city just over there. See, that's the thing, like, I feel none of our train stations that I know of that are near me are like this, where one side you have the city and the other side is just a country. Like, I think this is one of the things about the UK and just overseas in general, European countries, that just really impresses me. Because like I say, the cities that I've been to, especially in New York State, it's not like this. You know, you have big city and then you just have big city. There's, there's not country this close to it. Maybe in other states, I haven't been to all of them, but... That is my experiences of New York, anyway. Okay, let's release this. And is this off? No, it's not off. It is now. Okay, 2.4 kilometers. And we're going... Or are we? Hmm. It 
it's showing it's showing power. But again, we're not moving. Okay. Let's do that. Pantograph raised. Running release. Okay, let's try it again. Hmm. We're getting power, <laughs> but we're not getting any movement. So this is even more strange. What is this? Direct break released. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. I keep forgetting to drain the air out of that. That's what it was. And we're actually, we were actually going backwards over again. That's what it is. I keep forgetting to drain the air. That's what I'm doing. It went to emergency and then I put it back to running. I had to set it to release so it could decompress the brakes. I'll get it. Sure, I will. I really like the reflections on the side of the train. I think they did a good job with that. And I mean, honestly, I don't feel the graphics in this game are horrible and... To anybody who knows me and who has been watching my channel, you all know that I'm a graphics guy. I like a pretty game. I'm, I'm a sucker for good graphics, and I just feel like, why not? You know, we have the technology. There's really no excuse for games to not look their best. You know, I, I do know that there's people out there that they don't, they don't agree with that, and that's fine. But yeah. You know, I, I just I just truly feel that where we're at in gaming, games should just look amazing. You know, it's what I it's what I want out of games. Especially when you're spending good money on a game, you know what I mean? When you're spending 60, 70 bucks on a game before any DLCs or season passes, then man, that, that game should just look amazing. I don't think it's too much to ask. You know, when you're going 120, 32 looks really slow. Even though it's not, I mean, it's not that slow, but it, it just looks really slow. Let's, we need to stop it a little faster here. No! See? Now it did it again. I will get the hang of driving this train. Man, you know, I was, I don't know. I wanted to do a route for sure, but I thought in the beginning these routes wouldn't be this long. Okay, so I need to look at that. Oh, wait, we need to hold that? Okay, so that pressure isn't releasing. Why? Throttle's off. Yeah, that pressure is not releasing. Why?
let's see here. Will it not release? Okay. So I guess that won't release with the doors open. So maybe that... There's probably some kind of safety feature, I would say. All right. So let's see here. Is it going to move? That's the question. Okay. We are gaining speed, so it is going to move. Awesome. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. But that's definitely what it is. With the doors open, that won't decompress. That makes sense. It's probably so you can't move the train with the doors open. That would be my guess anyway. I could be wrong. I probably am. Let's check and see how many more stops we got here, guys. One more stop. One more stop. And I mean, honestly, I feel like, like I can only go until 7.30 today. And it's already, like what? It's 6.59. So, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like it's not even worth it to go over to Boston. Not for a half hour. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the routes are like there. I don't know how long they take. But, you know what? We could try it. If we have to cut it, the route short, it's not a big deal, I don't think, is it? Maybe it won't be that long of a route though not like this anyway but we have one more route coming out that's included in the season ticket I think it's another London route it, it seems to be one that people are excited for but I think they did say that it won't release as quickly as this one released after they released the, uh, the Rush Hour update with the Boston Sprinter. Literally, the Rush Hour update was like, what, a couple weeks ago? And they released this one? So, yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that long in between. But it's going to be a little longer until the next route. I'm fine with it because literally there's a lot to there's a lot to do in this game. Um, I, like I haven't even scratched the surface. Okay. So I'm going to start slowing down now. I'm I'm 2.5 kilometers away. But, you know, when you're going 120 miles an hour, it doesn't take long, does it? It doesn't take long. So let's put it on 1A. Start slowing down here. See what that does. You know, I want to get the smoothest stop possible. I don't want to just jar people. You don't want to just slam on the brakes, do you? You want to, you want to have a nice, easy stop. So that's the thing, like, I, I'm late, but I, I don't know, I don't really understand how to do it in the game where if you're on time, the only way you can be on time, you gotta go as fast as you can and just slam on the brakes. You gotta stop as late as possible. So, that's why I never really worry too much about the time. I mean, I know that makes me a bad engineer, and, you know, the people on the train are probably pissed off at me because... I'm getting them here late, but... Oh, well. That's just how it is. Let's do a... Nice little drive-by here. Watch it. Oh, this bridge. This bridge is awesome. I don't... Wrong button. Good lord. Like, I don't know why, but I just... I like this bridge a lot. This bridge looks so cool. When I first was on it, I was on the uh, the more dark blue side. 
Yeah, this is just a cool looking bridge, man. I don't know. Okay. See, I was looking at the bridge and I wasn't even paying attention that we need to start slowing up again. So this is our last stop. And we have a red light. So that's always something fun to contend with. No, I didn't want to do that. Let's... Yeah, yeah. 1A. I think that'll be good for now. Okay, this is definitely going smoother. We're going to put the throttle up a little bit because literally, once you get to that 10 miles an hour, it just stops. <laughs> So throttle off. Break one A. Break one B. We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna stop perfectly. Perfectly. First perfect stop of the game. That's that's what I was saying. I'm gonna call that. Now, I would imagine people are going to get off the bus here. Get off the bus. I said it again. Oh, my God. Dude, this is not a bus. Get that through your head. All right. Lock, lock the doors. And I think that's the end. Yep, objective complete. We actually got a gold medal on that. Wow. So I did do I did do too bad actually. I didn't do as bad as I thought I was gonna do. Okay, so this is um do actual Yeah, I'm like I'm horribly late. These people are really pissed off at me. Especially the last stop. That was almost 20 minutes late. Well, I hope your bosses all understand. All right. So let's continue. And the next one is the BR146.2 introduction. God, I hope that's not the introduction to this. Because literally, you just had me drive this blind. Like, I didn't even know how to start it up. So, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What time is it? It's like 7.05. So, you know what? Let's let's go to the main menu. The load times are going to kill us. We're going to go over to the Boston Sprinter. And we'll just see what we have. See if we can get something that's... Uh, kind of quick. So let's change the route. Boss is Sprinter. I know what the next one is, and I'm not happy about it. If I continue the journey. Um, I wish it would tell me what that's called. Experiences. Well, you know what? Continue City Sprinter. Okay. Let's try it. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. If it does look like we'll get done by 7.30, then we'll just end it wherever we're at. Not too big of a deal, I don't think. I appreciate everyone who came out today to uh, catch my stream and give me a like and talked with me. I appreciate that a lot. I think the very worst thing for anyone streaming is to stream to nobody talking. That is the absolute worst. But you have to just press on. You have to keep talking to yourself like you're an idiot. <laughs> but uh, that's what happens. Okay, so let's see here. Is this going to tell me? Oh, boy. Uh, Providence, Boston Hall Station. This doesn't really tell me how long this is going to take. So we'll begin. 
Oh, and now I have to remember how to do this one. Just do this here. Left. Right. No. Wrong doors. That's left. Okay, now I have to remember reverse the key out. forward. I have to remember how to do this one. I hope this one's on because if I have to do like a cold start, I am screwed. Uh, dynamic break reset. Radio mode. Oh boy. Um, let's see. It doesn't sound like this train is on. Head headlights. What is this? Automatic brake handle off. Well, I didn't want to do that. Now, did I? Release. Okay. Pressure is building. I hate this train. I really do. I don't like this train. I want to drive the Amtrak train so much, but I do like to just continue the journey. So, what is this? Radio mode. Pet. I mean, we probably wouldn't hear it anyway because the engine's in the back. This technically isn't the engine, so... Let's, uh... Let's try this. What is this? Oh, that's the horn. Okay, let's... Let's try it. Nothing. Nothing. No power. Nothing. So... Cab lights off. Marker lights off. Um, shoot. There's not much. There's. Oh, wait a minute. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a box up here. I need to do. Generator field off. Generator field on. Engine run on. On. Okay. That's right. Because we had to set that up. Nothing. Oh, why me? I swear to God. Let's let's put that neutral. Well, that's all on. Forward. Nothing. No power. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. This game kills me. On. Engine run on. Generator field on. Light dimmer switch. This is. Oh, this is helpful. Marker lights. Cab lights. Ah, oh, man. I mean, you know what, guys? I just... I don't know. This thing is definitely not starting up. I don't think there's anything I have to do. Yeah, I have no idea how to get this thing going. 
Like, I literally just did this. I thought we did everything right. I knew we had to do that. You know, I had to think in a real train, it wouldn't be this detrimental to do everything in order, especially if we just shut everything off. So, well, you know what, guys? I think we're actually going to just end the stream here anyway because now it's getting later and I really don't feel like messing with this train right now. I don't know how to get how to get it going. So, overall, I feel like it's been a pretty good stream. I wanted to show off the new route anyway, and I did that. And I feel like he had a pretty good turnout. So, I thank everybody for showing up. Like I say, man, I, I really appreciate all the likes and stuff like that. But uh, that's what we're going to end this one today because I can't get this going and... The clock is ticking. So, be sure to tune in tomorrow. We're going to go live with SnowRunner. Check out Phase 5. And then, Sunday will be our next live stream. I have no idea what I'm streaming yet, but I'll figure it out. You can watch my YouTube channel. I'll be announcing it. Or you can join my Discord. And I will also put an announcement in there. So, I hope you all have a great night. I hope you enjoy the new route if you got it. And we'll see you later, guys.